things I've learned about LogSeq and how it relates notes together and the information that's available to you um, to sort of capture this moment in time uh, for myself, but maybe also teach some people about LogSeq's internal data structures. Um, so let's let's start us off with I'm going to take a note for myself that um, you know Remy uh, is my favorite. I'll do hashtag rat, right? Um, so here's like a recording of a fact in my note system. Uh, I've created three different notes, right? Remy is a concept, favorite's a concept, rat's a concept. Um, let's take a look at the graph view to see how they relate with each other. So you can see that in graph view, your, the journal entry uh, connects to these three new um, notes but they have no relationship to each other, right? So we don't know that Remy is a rat. We don't know that my favorite rat is Remy. Um, we just all know, we know that on this day, I talked about these three things, okay? So the, the point that you should take from this is information stored within the same block or links in the same block do, does not create links in the graph, right? It has to be nested in some way, whether that whether it's nested um, like like this or nested as in I go into the Remy note and I write something, um, one way or another, uh, it has to 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 be nested to create that connection, right? So let's go through some of the ways you can nest information and see what kind of structures it creates, right? So instead, let's do okay. Uh, let's let the, in our notes talk about. Uh, rat, right? We're gonna talk about rats, and in, in the rat concept, we're gonna say, okay, hey, there's this rat named Remy, uh, and he's my hashtag favorite, right? Okay, so we've created some sort of nesting. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Graph View. Ah, cool. So in Graph View, you can see that uh, that's built into LogSeq. It is not figured out that Remy's a rat. Right, it, it knows that uh, these are all still connected to the, to the same date, um, and your favorite rat is, is is not Remy. It's just you know on this day we talked about some sort of favorite, okay? But the information that rat and Remy and favorite are nested is actually stored in the database in alternative graphing plugins like my own graph analysis uh, is able to. Uh, a piece together the, the, the broader story, right? So here um, on July 20th, uh, we talked about rats, right? Uh, and what do we know about rats? Uh, I have a favorite rat um, and I, uh, Remy, the, the rat is, uh, is a rat, right? But I don't know that um, Remy is my favorite rat, right? There's no connection between favorite and Remy, okay? So we're getting a little bit closer now. Um, but that's interesting, right? Because the, the information is available for the LogSeq developers to put it in Graph View, but it's because there's like this connection here, but they just, you know, right now Graph isn't quite there. Um, so let's try another version of, of this, right? So we're gonna backspace, uh, and then we're gonna say, we're gonna use uh, hierarchies. We're gonna say uh, rat slash Remy, okay? So that's a, a rat named Remy is my, is my favorite. All right, so we've, this is a new concept. Um, you can see if, uh, new as in newly introduced in this conversation, uh, if you click into it, you can see Remy is a hierarchy into rat, right? So I can go into rat and the rats I know about are Remy. It's a way of connecting information like into the name of the note. Okay, going back, let's take a look at graph view. Okay, cool. So rat Remy, right, this, this note, uh, graph the graph view built in does know that it is a rat connects back to the rat note and it does know that on July 20th we talked about both rats and this specific Remy it does still does not know that my favorite rat is Remy right um, again we're falling back to that initial scenario where I said that uh, information stored within the same block doesn't create connections, right? Um, so I could nest this, right? Um, and then rat Remy connected, favorites nested. 
Uh, we talked about previously that GraphView has the data available to know that this these are connected, but it doesn't draw it. Um, coming to my plugin, um, I discovered that in this scenario, uh, hierarchies presented through slashes like rat Remy, they're not connecting quite right. Um, so the the graph doesn't represent, um, you know, what we're trying to get to is that uh, Remy is a rat and my favorite rat is Remy, right? A connection there. Um, so what's another way we could try it? Um, we could try doing, you know, I could nest inside of it. So I can say, hey, today I talked about rat Remy and I go in here and I say, hey, he's my favorite. Hashtag favorite. Um, looking at graph view. Uh, oh, cool. So let me pull this aside here. You can see that on the 20th, I talked about Remy. He's a rat and he's my favorite. So that does, going into the note, like solves this problem. Um, if I, oh, I'm curious on what my graph looks like. Okay. Um, on the 20th, I talked about rats and I talked about Rat Remy and Rat Remy is a favorite. So this going into the node does connect it correctly. Um, I guess the, the, the one other one I might wanna see is uh, moving this, I could say Rat, talk about rats, talk about Remy, he's a rat. And the thing I wanna know about Remy is he's my favorite. So this is like fully super nested graph view, I believe will okay well, I need to so there's a bug with like hierarchies in log seek that if you mess with them you have to re-index um, or it doesn't pick up the changes so I re-indexed graph view there we go so on the 20th I talked about Remy I talked about rat I talked about favorite uh, it's stuck oh I bet you that file exists hold on a second uh, if I go to rat Remy and delete it. Yeah, because like clicking around, it, it creates stuff. Okay, back to my notes. Graph view. There we go. So again, it does. Graph view doesn't do nested relationships correctly, uh, but I believe mine does. Yeah, cool. So uh, 20th, I talked about rats, uh, which is a uh, type of rat is Remy, and Remy is my favorite. Right. So if you wanted you could nested like if you didn't want to like click into a note to like record that extra information that remy's your favorite you could just like fully nest it out like this um and graph analysis would be able to pick it up graph you would not um i can show you I mean, there's no real right way to do any of this and you could probably you, know, you could just you could just write remy's my favorite rat in one block and like move on with your life this is like hyper optimization of like graphs if you care about it um but I, I can show you how i would have taken this note uh, for myself i probably would have just been like hey um i do like hierarchies so because like who knows if i have a friend named remy right i don't want to confuse rat remy with human remy um and so i created a hierarchy i would go into the hierarchy and i really like tags um and uh i'll say tag favorite um the reason I like tags is, so I believe, hold on, let me just make sure this works right. Yeah, rat's my favorite, Remy's my favorite, and I talked about rats and that. Um, the reason I like tags uh, is because if I go to favorite, I can see pages tagged with favorite and then the list of them. So it's like a nice little feature. It's kind of hidden to, that the this particular page property, if you give it like a string, it treats it as a tag and then shows it in the list. It's the only way to do that. Um, but that does mean that I, I can't keep all my notes in journal and I have to jump between notes. Um, but if I, that was important to me, I would do like the hyper nesting that we talked about previously. Ooh, that's a lot of information. Hopefully you learned something from this. Um, have a great day.